dear students welcome once again in today's class i will be considering few more examples on solving system of linear equations using gauss jordan method so let me consider this problem use gauss jordan method gauss jordan method to solve to solve the equations x plus 3y plus 2z is equal to 17 x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 16 plus 3z is equal to 16 2x minus y plus 4z 2x minus y 2x minus y plus 4z is equal to 30 x plus 3y plus 2z is equal to 17 x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 16 2x minus y plus 4 is equal to 30 as a first step like in the previous method also like in the previous problem on gauss jordan method let us first write down the augmented matrix of the given system of equations as a first step the solution for as a first step the augmented matrix the augmented matrix of the given system of equations is given system of equations given system of equations is Augmented matrix A bar B is equal to one three two seventeen one three two seventeen one two three sixteen one two three sixteen two minus one four. Two minus one, four, thirty. Thirty. So this is the augmented matrix. <coughs> Let us apply sequence of row elementary transformations to reduce this quotient matrix to identity matrix. As the first operation, let me make this element to zero. And this element zero using the leading entry in the first row that is one. So it is very simple. R two will change subject to the operation R two minus R one. Very simple. And then now to make this element zero, I have to multiply this by two and then subtract with this. So R three will change subject to the operation R three. Minus two times R one, two times R one. So we get equivalent matrix, equivalent matrix, so no one is being used. No change. One, three, two. Seventeen. So one minus one, that is zero. So just we can easily, uh, early we can do this calculation. One minus one zero. Two minus three, minus two. 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 Two minus three, minus two.
minus 1, 3 minus 2, 1, 16 minus 17, minus 1. Then, 2 minus 2, 0, 2 minus 2, 0, minus 1, minus 6, that is minus 7, minus 7, 4, 4, minus 4, so this is 0, eh? R3 is 4, minus 2 into 2, that is 4 minus 4 is 0, 13, minus 34, that will give you minus 20. Minus 21. Minus 21. 13 minus 2 times 17, that is 34. Uh, minus 20. Okay, so now, as the next operation, have to make these two elements 0 simultaneously using this entry in the second row, second column, that is minus 1. So now, the operations. <coughs> R1 will change now. R1 it will change subject to the operation. So I have to only multiply this by 3 and then add with this. So R1 plus 3 times R2 plus 3 times R2. And similarly, multiply this by 7 R2 and subtract with this to make this element 0. So R3 will change subject to R3 R3 minus 7 times R2. So we get another equivalent matrix. Okay, so now because this element is 0, nothing will happen to this. Now let us uh, okay. R1 plus 3 times minus 1. So this element is 0. Very simple. Okay. How we get 0 here? R1 is 3 plus 3 times corresponding R2 is minus 4. So 3 minus 3 is 0. <coughs> the next 2 plus 3 times 2 R1 is 2 plus 3 times corresponding element this is 5. So this element is 5. Look at the next element, 17 plus 3 times corresponding element minus 1, 17 minus 3, 14. So this element is 14 now. Okay. Row 2 is being used, so no change here. So minus 1, 1, minus 1. Because this element is 0, this element will remain 0. Now let us look at that, minus 7. So, minus 7, minus 7 times corresponding element in R2 is minus 1. So, minus 7 plus 7. So, this element is 0. Okay. Now, take a look at next element. 0 minus 7 times. Okay. Corresponding element is 1. So, this is minus 7. So, this is minus 7. 0, 0, minus 7. Next, minus 21, minus 7, eh? minus 21 R3, minus 7, corresponding element, that is minus 21, minus 21, uh, corresponding element, uh, minus 7, a uh, minus one, minus twenty one, minus seven. Corresponding element is minus one. So plus seven. So this is minus forty. So this is minus forty. Okay. Now, using this element, next step we have to make this 
5 in row 1, 1 in row 2, 0. So, we have to suitably choose the proper multiples to make these two equations equal. So, this is equal to, now again, there is a change in R1 right, to make this 0. Right? The change is R1 R1 uh, because there is already a minus sign right? I will have to add now R1 5 5 by 7 times 5 by 7 times R2 5 by 7 times R2 similarly to make this 0 R3 will change subject to the operation R3 now both are okay now both are plus 1 plus 1 by 7 times R3 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 okay let me calculate first because these two entries are 0 so nothing will happen to these two elements 0 now let us look at, look at this element 5 now 5 so 5 plus 5 by 7 corresponding element in R3 that is minus 7 so plus 5 minus 5 0 so this is 0 now 4 d plus 5 by 7 corresponding element is minus 14. So this is minus 2. 14 minus 10. That is plus 4. So this is plus 4. Okay. So now what will happen to R2? So because these two elements are 0, 0 minus 1 will remain as it is. Then look at the third element in the second row. 1 with respect to this operation plus 1 by 7 corresponding element of R3 minus 7 so 1 minus 1 is 0 ok look at the next element minus 1 plus 1 by 7 corresponding entry of R3 is minus 14 so this is minus 2 minus 1 minus so minus 1 plus 1 by 7 corresponding element minus 14 so minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 so this is minus 3 then row 3 is being used so no change 0 0 minus 7 minus 14. So to get identity matrix as the next step I have to divide R2 by minus 1 and multiply by minus 1 divide R3 by minus 7. So as the next step R2 divided by minus 1 R minus R2 R3 R3 divided by minus 7 so this is equivalent to 1 0 0 4 0 1 0 plus 3 0 0 uh, this is 1 2 okay. <coughs> now the values of unknown are x is equal to 4, y is equal to 3, z is equal to 2. So therefore, <coughs> the values of the unknown are solution of the given system of equations are the solution of the given system of equations of the given system 
que vai. Vocês estão a fim de equações. Equações. Eles. X is equal to 4. Y is equal to 3. And Z is equal to 3. So let me consider another example. Use Gauss Jordan method to solve.
Now, let us see what happens with this element. Because this element is 0, so this 2 will remain as it is. Now, take a look at the calculation. <coughs> now, this one. 1 with respect to this operation. 1 minus 1 by 2 corresponding element is 2. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, this element is 0. Now, take a look at third element, the first row. 3 minus 1 by 2 uh, corresponding element in R2 is 1. That is 3 minus 1 by 2. 6 minus 1, 5 by 2. So, this is 5 by 2. So, let me write 5 by 2 as it is. 5 by 2. Now, look at the next element. 1 minus 1 by 2. 1, this 1 minus 1 by 2. Corresponding element is minus 1. So, 1 plus R, that is 3 by 2. So, this is 3 divided by 2. Five by two, three by two. Now, R two is being used, so no change here. Zero, two, one, minus one. Because this element is zero, this zero will remain as it is. Now, I am multiplying this by two, then subtracting. Four minus four is zero. Six minus two is four. Two uh, plus two is again four. Okay. So now. Using this form, this element, I have to make these two elements zero. So how I can do this? So this is equivalent to R1 will change subject to R1, R1. Now, <coughs> to make this zero, I have to subtract first of all. 4 divided by 5 by 2, that is 5 by 8, 5 by 8 times R3, 5 by 9 times R3. Similarly, to make this element 0, R3, R2, will change with respect to R2. Again, I to subtract minus 1 by 4 times R3. 1 by 4 times R3. Okay. Okay, so now, because these two elements are 0, so nothing will happen to two elements in the first row, first two elements. Now look at this 5 by 2. 5 by 2 minus 5 by 8 into corresponding element of R3 is 4. This is 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2. This element is 0. Take a look at 3 by 2 now. 3 by 2 minus 5 by 8. Corresponding element is again 4. So this is 3 by 2 minus 5 by 2. That is minus 2. 1 minus 1. So this is 3 minus 5. Minus 2 by 2 is minus 1. Okay. So now look at the second element, second row, because first two entries are 0 here. So this will remain as it is 0, 2. Now look at the 1. 1 minus 1 by 4. Corresponding element of R3. So 1 minus 1. This element is 0. <coughs> Next, this element minus 1, minus 1 by 4. Corresponding element is 0, uh, 4. So this is minus, minus 2. Now, row 3 is being used. So no change here. 0, 0, uh, 4, 4. To reduce this time today, I have to divide row 1 by 2, row 2 by 2 and row 4 by, uh, row 3 by 2. 
So this is the next step. R1 divided by 2. Uh, row 2 divided by uh, 2 again. Row 3 is divided by 3 by 4. So I get 1, 0, 0, uh, minus 1 by 2, minus half, and here 0, 1, 0, minus 1, then 0, 0, 1, 1. So <coughs> the solution of the event system of the equations is the solution. The solution of the given system of information, given system of equations is of equations is x1 is equal to minus of x2 is equal to minus 1 x3 is equal to plus 1 so let me consider another example apply cross Jordan to that apply Gauss Jordan method to solve to solve x plus y plus z is equal to that <coughs> 2x minus 3y plus 4z 2x minus 3y plus 4z is equal to 13 is equal to 13 13 3x plus 4y 3x plus 4y plus 5z is equal to 40 is equal to 40 Given system of equations, uh, that is going to be 1, 1, 1, 9, 2, 2, minus 3, 4, 13, 3, 4, 5, 4. Minus 5 minus 5 
then 4 minus 2 is plus 2, 30 minus 80 minus 5, minus 5. Then 3 minus 3, 0, 4 minus 3 is 1, 5 minus 3 is 2, 40 minus 27, that is 12, 30, 30. Forty minus twenty-seven is thirty. So now, using this element minus five, I have to make these two elements zero. So this is plus R one plus one by five times of R two. Similarly, R three plus one by five times of R. So now, because this element is 0, second row, first row, uh, second row, first column, nothing will happen to this element. Now, this element should become 0. Let us calculate this 1, this 1, this 1, plus 1 by 5 times corresponding R2 is minus 5, minus 5. So, minus 1 plus 1. Zero. Zero. But I look at this element. One plus one by five. Corresponding element is two. Five plus two, seven by two. So this is seven by two. Five, five. Seven by five. 7.5 then look at this element now 9 plus 1 by 5 times corresponding element minus 5 minus 5 so this is 8 9 minus 1 is 8 but R2 is being used so no change here A 0 minus 5 plus 2 minus 5. Okay. Because this element is 0, this element will not change. <coughs> now, uh, because of this is 0, same operation, 0. Uh, let us work out that. So, R3 is 1, R3 is 1, plus 1 by 5, times corresponding element, uh, R very, uh, element in R2, minus 5. So 1 minus 1 is 0. Next element is 2. Is 2 here. Plus 1 by 5. 2. Plus 1 by 5. Corresponding element of R2 is 2. R3, 2. Plus 1 by 5, uh, 2. This is 10 plus 2, 1 by 5. So this is 1 divided by 5. So this is 1 divided by 5. Next, 13, 13 plus 1 by 5, 1 by 5. Corresponding element is 5, minus 5. So 13 minus 1 is plus 1 is plus 1. Now, using 1 by 15, 5, I have to make this element 0, this element 0. In order to reduce this to the required form. So this is equivalent to now R1 will change with respect to the operation R1. Uh, <coughs> with this entry, 7 by 5 divided by 1 by 5, or 7 by 12, R1 minus 7 divided by 12 times R2. 
Okay. A similar thing. R3 will change subject to the operation. 2 by 1.5 times R3. That is 10 by 12. 10 by 12 times R3. 10 by 12 times R3. Okay. Let us take a look at at this now because these two elements are zero so nothing will happen to this one now let us see 7 by 5 element 7 by 5 minus 7 by 12 corresponding element in R2 1 by 5 so this is 12 by 5 so 7 by 5 minus 7 by 5 is 0 okay. look at the element 8 now 8 minus 7 by 12 into corresponding element 12. So this is 8 minus 7. Method. 
the system of equations given by 2x plus y plus z is equal to 10 3x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 18 x plus 4y plus 9z is equal to 16. So as a first step here also let us write down the augmented matrix of the given system of equations uh, that is a bar b a bar b is equal to 2 1 1 10 2 1 1 10 3 2 3 18 3 2 3 18 3 2 3 18 1 4 9 1 4 9 16 So as a first step, let us reduce elements below this to zeros. Now the operations R2 minus 3 by 2 times R1. 3 by 2. 3 by 2 times R1. Then R3 minus 1 by 2 times R1. Write the row 1 as it is 2, 1, 1, 10. So let us work out this element. So next to the first element 3 minus. 3 by 2 corresponding element of R1 is 2. So 3 minus 3, this element is 0. <coughs> Next, 2 minus 3 by 2 corresponding element is 1. Corresponding element is 1. 4 minus 3, that is 1 by 2. So this is 1 by 2. 1 by 2. Next element 3 minus 3 by 2 corresponding element is 1. So this is 6 minus 3, 3 by 2. This is 3 by 2. This is 3 by 2. Then 18, <coughs> this element 18 minus 3 by 2 corresponding element is 10. This is 5. 18 minus 15 is 3. So this element is 3. Now look at the third one. 1 minus 1 by 2 times corresponding element. So this is 0. Next element is 4 minus 1 by 2. Corresponding element is 1. So this is 8 minus 1. 7 by 2. 7 by 2. 7 by 2. <coughs> then look at the next element. 9 minus 1 by 2 into 1. So this is 18 minus 1. Uh, 17 by 2. 17 by 2. 17 by 2. Next is 16 <coughs> minus 1 by 2. Corresponding element is 10. <coughs> that is 16 minus 5 is 11. So 18 by 2, 11. 
Okay, so now using one by two, I have to make this entry zero and this entry zero. So I multiply this by two and then subtract with this, this becomes zero. Multiply this by seven and subtract with this, this becomes zero. So this is R minus two times R two, R three minus seven times R. <coughs> So this nothing will happen in this element because this is zero. So now let us see what happens to this element. R one, this one, one minus two times R two corresponding element. So one minus one, this is zero. Then we have another element, one minus two corresponding element in R two, three by two. So one minus three minus two minus two. Then we have ten here. Ten minus two times three. Ten minus six is four. Is four. Okay. The R two is being given. So no change here. Zero. One by two. Three by two. Then three. Okay. So next, this element is zero. I look at the seven by two. Seven by two minus seven times corresponding one by two. One by two. Seven by two minus seven by two is. Next, seventeen by two, seventeen by two minus seven. Corresponding is three by two, is three by two. The seventeen minus twenty-one is minus four. That is minus two. So this is minus. <coughs> so this is minus two. The next element is eleven. Minus seven times corresponding element is three. Is three eleven minus twenty one? That is minus ten. Minus ten. Now, using this element minus two, I have to make this element zero and this element zero. So this is equal to. This is equivalent. I can just subtract with R1 to make this element zero. So R1 will change subject to the operation R1 minus R3. Then here R2 will change subject to the operation now this plus R2 plus. Three by two by two. That is three by four plus three by four times R. Three by four times R. <coughs> so now we get equivalent matrix. So because these two are zero. Nothing will happen to these two elements. Two zero. I will have to look at the minus two now. Minus two minus R three minus R minus two. So this is zero. Look at this element now. Four minus R R three minus ten. That is fourteen. This is fourteen. Okay. Look at the second row. Second row. First two elements will not change. One, ah. Then three by two. Three by two plus three by four. Corresponding element is minus two. So this is minus three by two plus three by two. Now look at the next element. Three 
plus 3 by 4 corresponding element of R3 is minus 10. So this is minus 15 by 2 plus 3. So let me consider another example. Solve by Gauss Jordan method. 83x plus 11y minus 4z. is equal to 95 7x plus 52 y plus 30 z is equal to 104 104 104 3x plus 8y plus 8y plus 29z is equal to 70. So as a first step, we shall write down the augmented matrix of the given system of equations that is 83 11 minus 4 95 7 52 30 104 104 then 3 8 
You are denied. Surrender.
minus 4. So this will reduce, be careful with the simplification using the calculator 29.144. So this is 29.144. One, four, four, five. The last bit, seventy one minus three one eighty three into corresponding element is ninety five. So if you carefully do this operation, you get sixty seven point sixty seven point five double six two five six six two sixty seven point five. Six six six. Okay, now with this element, I have to make this zero and this zero. So the operation is this is equivalent to R one. R one. Minus eleven by seven point six zero two four times. So R one will change with respect to this R two fifty one by fifty one point zero seven two two R two. 51.072 okay. Then to make this zero R3 will change R3 minus 7.60 Two four divided by fifty one point zero seven two two times R two. But so with respect to this, if you carefully operate, you get the elements eighty three zero minus six point. Eight seven two six. Eight seven two six. Seventy four. Seventy four point three two five nine. Three two five nine. Then we have zero. Fifty one point zero seven double two. Thirteen. Point three three seven three 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 seven three ninety five point nine eight seven nine nine eight seven nine zero zero twenty seven point one five nine one. One five nine one fifty three point fifty three point two seven seven eight fifty three point two seven seven eight. Okay. Carefully, if you do these operations, you get this matrix. Now, using this element, I have to make these two entries zero. This is given by equivalent to. R1 will change R1 plus 6.8726 can 7.26 divided by 27.8726 
Thank you.